mandated to take care of the malnourished children and their families is a in spite of these relief programs and the in in implementation of the United Nations Security Council's resolution on 989, the Oil for Food program, the effect of sanctions are still evident in large sectors of the population. Food shortages, the severe deterioration of healthcare services, and lack of access to clean water and sanitary installations are taking a heavy toll. The civilian population should never be a target in the conflicts between states. And it is on this basis that we have the right, the right what we call for humanitarian initiative to demand that health supply and nutritional supplies should be given to the most vulnerable parts of the civilian population. And in particular, we are worried about what is happening to the children because damage inflicted upon children will never be repaired. Damage inflicted upon grown-ups can be restored after some years. But if you really arrest the development of a child, that child is harmed for the rest of his or her life. Sanctions are a legitimate tool, instrument on the UN Charter but sanctions can heal. They are a blunt instrument, damaging the poor, the destitute, the vulnerable. The impact of the use must be monitored and access to humanitarian supplies must be assured. Thank you.